And who writes War Machine? Uh... Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing a different kind of review. Today I'm reviewing the ACBA comic book cutouts and yes, they are finally here. I've been waiting for these to come out for a long time. These are brought to you by uh, ACBA. Bill Maru got his card right in there and of course Ty Star the Artist. And it zips backward. Yeah, there it is. Ty Star the Artist right there. So I'll have a link in the description below where you can find these if you want to get them. They're only 15 bucks and you get 25 cutouts here, which I think is a great deal because if you've actually tried to make your own comic book cutouts, it's not the funnest thing in the world and it is time consuming. So 15 bucks for 25 of these, I think that's a pretty damn good deal. Then on the back over here, you can see some explanations to what ACBA is all about. If you've seen this and you don't really know, this video should really help you get an understanding. Now this is package one. Now the first run of series one are sold out so when you go to the articulated comic book shop page you'll see that they're sold out but they will be available for pre-order again next week and then after that there will be a series two batch with all new cutouts and then on the front over here you can see all the effects and everything that's really cool so you get the and crackoom and all that stuff and right here we also get this little piece of this little like a uh, postcard kind of little leaflet showing all these different examples of awesome articulated comic book art this is really cool. You can see the cutouts added to some of them right over here. I think that's really dope. Then if you'd like to read this, I strongly suggest it so you can get an understanding of what ACBA really is. Uh, written by the late and departed Nine Fires. But go ahead and read this thing. Ooh, I like that one. Smash Brothers. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's crack this thing open. Well, here we go. Now, it does come with its own wax. And the wax is very important because you need that. Well, I mean, if you could balance it without the wax, I guess that's better. But, you know, it really does help getting these displayed. And this is the I think it's the baby bell cheeses that have the wax around them and that's what they've included right here so it also helps keep this whole thing together now Ty Star gave me more than 25 but you're supposed to get 25 in each of these and these are just incredible man wow now there's only one little QC issue and that's on the back of these some of them stick and you get tiny little black dots uh, you can see a tiny little black dot right there. And this has already been addressed regardless. This is just incredible. And these are holes right here. So I think that's great. Damn, Chris Smack. Now, I did notice that not every single tiny little piece is cut out perfectly. Like this Chris Smack right over here, you can see the star in there is still kind of there, but it has been cut out. So some of these I had to get an X-Acto knife and take them apart a little bit myself. But still, man, regardless, I mean, the amount of work put into these, it's a lot. And then you have other ones like this that came out perfectly fine that has a bunch of little parts and everything. Or the little snicks right here, these came out perfectly too. Blam, blam, blam. And these are made out of pretty thick car stock it's not just a flat little flimsy piece of paper you can get an idea how strong this is so you can get it well just bent it and it's still holding up okay Ooh, damn but anyway you could like get the wax hanging it right here you know attach it somewhere you gotta be creative with the way you use these I mean I don't do a whole ton of cutouts myself I'm still practicing and learning but damn I just think these are great you know having the white backdrop is really Kind of fooling. Wow, look at this. Now, I really like how the inside of this thing has a glossary of terms. So, if you really want to read all of these, which I think you should, go ahead and pause it now. So, I'm going to give a little demonstration over here, and I strongly suggest you check out the ACBA like page. That's where you can see a lot of these guys that are just absolutely destroying it over there. I'm a bit of a novice at this. So, uh, we have the Smash right there, Hulk Smash, of course. I cannot wait for Age of Ultron. I have not seen the movie. So, I'm thinking it should go somewhere around here, right? You don't want to like block the impact totally, I think. I think that's a little too intrusive if you just put it right there. I'm thinking just a little off to the side, right? So you get a little piece of wax over here and just attach it to the part where I think it would go best. Like I said, I was thinking about, I don't know, attaching it to the forearm right there. So we're just gonna stick up just a little bit of this. That's actually a little bit more wax than I need. But just for the sake of this review, I'm just going to do it like that. And then there's other ways you can do this too, like where you could roll this around so that you get it, you know, kind of a longer piece of wax so you can get it a little farther away from the prop or the figure that you're having the effect posed with. I don't know. I'm just trying to mess around over here, give you guys an idea how this works. But yeah, it's definitely too much wax on this. But let's see. It'll stay right there. I think that looks pretty cool. I don't know. Another thing really worth mentioning too is that the wax will not damage the figures. You know, you definitely, before you start posting stuff online, you want to try a lot of ideas. You know, different camera angles, you know, this is an art form over here. Or actually maybe right down here, I don't know. You can drive yourself crazy doing this stuff, that's what's awesome about it. Hey, 
what's up you guys yeah thanks so much Ty Star. I think that is awesome so yeah you can really get creative with these and he does make custom cutouts if you want those so hit him up check the link in the description below I really dig these a lot I highly recommend them please stick around I'm gonna have a slideshow full of photos anyway I hope you guys liked my video if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button right up over there check out my last two videos right over here and make sure you go to toynewseye.com for the latest in action figure news and check out the cutouts down below I'll catch you guys later peace Crispy. So I want to give a little demon.